Woohoo! Welcome back. Uh, this is uh, day two of our uh, custom process of how uh, we make jewelry different here at our store. Uh, we do custom different. But um, one of the things I wanted to show you, this is a, another piece of custom that we made here uh, that Haley made. Uh, it's a beautiful two-tone piece um, with the garnet in the middle. And I just wanted to show you that from that, she took first place in uh, the state of Georgia Jewelers um, Association here. And so we're really proud to have award-winning designers here on staff at David Douglas Diamonds. And so now I'd like to just turn it on over to Joseph. Yeah, well, right here we, uh, right where we left off, we have our rendering up here. Uh, so we have our, our rose gold detail and then that white gold part. Um, and then I'll, I'll pull in here. Um, this is that the original sketch Haley had done yesterday for us. Um, so really, really close here. Um, and I like how that's looking. So. After a, um, after a customer approves um, a rendering like this, um, there's a couple different stages and steps we have to take um, before we can actually print the design. Um, so I'll pull that up for us and go through those. So here is that ring we had created yesterday. Um, we have that under, all that under gallery design, um, all our diamonds in there and everything. So. Because it's, um, there's two different colors, because we're doing white gold and rose gold, we're actually going to um, just hide this rose gold portion right here and just focus on our white gold. Um, we're gonna remove all of our diamonds here because we don't want to print those out. Um, so we've got that, um, just, the, uh, just the base right there. First, we'll add in um, what we call supports or sprues. Uh, so these white, um, white pieces right here are sprues. Um, the hot liquid um, gold will come in from the bottom here and travel up through the top, um, filling this whole piece um, in white gold for us. Uh, so those are our, our sprues. And then for printing purposes, we have to add in our, our supports here, these red supports. Um, they come off on all the, all the little prongs up in here, um, supports up in here, and then supports on the bottom here. Uh, just to, so it'll print properly um, and then it doesn't crumble or break as it's, as it's being printed out. So I'll go ahead and um, what we would do is save that one and move on to the that inside portion. So this will be our rose gold portion. Um, so just like before, we add in our our, our sprues here, um, these white sprues. So this in in this instance, the um, liquid rose gold will travel travel up through the bottom there, um, come around the sides, up into here, and fill this whole piece um, in rose gold. Just like before, again, we'll add in our red supports. Um, just to give it some stability as it's printing out. So after I save those, um, what I would do is, is transfer them over to our, our wax printer in the back. Uh, so if you follow me, we'll come around here, uh, come around to the back um, where we actually print uh, those, those models out. So excuse our, our mess in the back here, it's just, the, um, just more of the shop. So back here we have our, our um, 3D wax printer. Um, this is the B9 Creator. We'll open that up. So in here, um, what we have is our, our light sensitive um, liquid material. Um, and so the projector down here, it'll actually, um, what the model does is it splits this ring into about a thousand different tiny layers um, and projects those layers of light and it cures in this, um, in this green liquid here. So this arm right here raises up as it's being printed and kind of grows the models coming out of that liquid right there. Um, so those, they come out all nasty and dirty. Um, what I would do is clean it up in some um, denatured alcohol and then um, use my little clippers here, clip off the little supports that we had put on um, as those were just for printing purposes. Next, what we do is we take those, after I clean them up a little bit, um, we'll put them in our, our light sensitive oven here um, and actually bake them in our oven, just like you do when uh, you get your, I think it's acrylic nails, never had them done, but um, you put them in, the, in this light oven right here. So we have these waxes right here. Um, these are going to be that same uh, custom design. So we have our support or our sprues right up in here uh, to allow that liquid gold to flow properly. Um, and again, we printed them two different, uh, two different pieces because we're doing this one in the rose and this one in the white gold. So after I, um, after I print these out and cure them in the oven, um, I hand them over, back over to Haley 
um, where she'll take those and actually invest them and get them ready for casting. So right over here. So come follow me and we'll go check in on Haley and see how she's doing. Hey Haley. Hello. Hey, so Haley is getting ready to uh, make up uh, what I call pancake mix, but it's investment in water. And so, um, how many grams of water do we got, Haley? Uh, about 234. And how many grams of investment do we have? Uh, about 615. All right. So she's going to pour the water in there first, and then she's going to pour the investment in there. And then uh, we got our handy dandy default uh, mixer here, and uh, just she'll get that all mixed up. And we're kind of looking for that consistency of, um, of just a real good batter, like pancake batter mix. And so she's going to get that going while she's working on that. Um, I'm going to just show you the, the ring all screwed up. Um, this part here is called the rubber base. And this is the ring um, setting up on ready to cast. And we're going to take um, this item here called a flask. And we're going to put this over top of this. Get this on here, and then we have this. Uh, so we now we have that in there. We're going to put this little sleeve on there. So now we have our engagement ring. Um, I mean, we have both of them are engagement ring. We have the outside and the inside. So this will be the rose gold, and then this one will be the white gold. So now I'll get the investment from Haley and uh, fill that up. So we're going to just. Uh, Try to pour this in here. And I'm just filling it to the top of the metal band. I'm not uh, getting it on this other part. So we're going to fill that up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, in all that mixing and stuff, we've added a lot of air to it. And we want to get all those air bubbles out because if we, uh, if, it, if it sticks to the piece of jewelry, then it's going to, uh, actually cast in gold. So now what we're doing is we're pulling all the air out of, uh, of this. And so what we're looking for is this is going to start to bubble. And um, it will take it a minute. But as you can see, it's beginning to rise. And so we're looking for the rise and fall. So once that rises up, then that'll uh, that whole vacuum will break. And then it'll uh, drop back down. that vacuum and uh, turn that off. We'll get our little bell jar off here. And uh, we're going to just let this sit undisturbed and give it a couple hours to harden. And then once it's all hardened, we're going to have our, uh, our two flasks. We put a little R and a W. One's for red gold and the other's for white gold. We're going to break off our bottom base. And so the, the ring now is trapped inside here. We're going to put it in the oven tight. We're going to put it in here in our oven. And this is going to heat up to 1350 degrees. Um, and it'll be a, burn, a burnout cycle of about eight hours. It'll slowly rise up to that 1350 and then it'll drop back down. And then um, um, all that wax will melt out and then we'll get a chance to um, pour the gold into that empty cavity of what we have now. So this is the end of day two. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for day three. Day three is the fun day. We get to play with fire. I can't wait. Come on back and see us at three o'clock tomorrow. Bye now.